Hi, my lovely people. Let the disclaimer run. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it. That's what we about to do. It is our amendment right. It is for entertainment and reaction purposes only. And baby, don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in this video. It is my opinion and my opinion only. Ooh, baby, welcome to Thirsty Thursdays. When the streets come a-knocking, okay, then guess what? Storm comes a-talking. When these streets get to knocking, this storm gonna come a-rocking. Rock, 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 because we gonna be going all day. When the foolery happens, then hey, baby, strike that match and let's talk about it. Now, oh boy, y'all all know that it's been, what, a month or so since this you know, alleged, this elusive, this exclusive 911 call was made, and we don't know what happened, okay? A 911 call was placed at the McIntyre and Corporation over there, and we don't know what took place, okay? We have heard, you know, allegedly all this stuff going on. Maybe it was DV, maybe it was PV, maybe it was HPV. Hey, we don't know, all right? <laughs> Let's just keep it real. We don't even know. But the bottom line, it was called, and it was a disturbance in the home. Um, reports out here on the streets and everywhere else was that Peach called them. But they had court yesterday, okay? Court uh, went really good for uh, Woody Woodpecker. Oh, the whack whack weenie shrimp. Oh, yeah, it went great because Peach did not show up. Um, according to, you know, the documents, it says this. It says the respondent did not show up. So, therefore, we are dismissing this matter. It is gone. It is this. It is that. Now, typically when this happens, it is dismissed. If there was, you know, some alleged bang, bang, boogie going on and someone put their hands where it wasn't supposed to be, maybe the state will look into it and pick it up. This was a case that was done in family court. So if it's a family court, it typically has something to do with parents or children. Okay. So we all know that. Now I'm going to say this. Her not showing up. Was I surprised? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Wood can do whatever he want and get away with it. Let me say this before I go into the next segment. I don't think that DV or abuse of any kind is funny. I don't think it is warranted and I don't think it is deserved. We are just talking about the topic at hand. This does not always mean in every topic. This is the topic at hand. So I want to say that because see, this is where I'm going to get with this. Something was going on bad enough that 911 was called, right? Now, I don't know if y'all was thinking this, but I'm thinking this. Did it happen while the children were still present at home? Was there one uh, still lagging behind or two? And they see the parents, you know, getting into it and they dial 911 and it's already been called. So the mother now picks up and starts talking. Was it something that was going on that Peach felt like she needed to call them right then because she felt like she is in immediate danger? Is it something going on to where she thought, okay, uh, if I don't uh, call them and scare Woody Wood a little bit, he might, you know, really do some damage up over here. Was it a scare tactic? Okay. Was it I'm calling them and then it went a little bit further because you was trying to scare somebody. Okay. Was it the fact that you were using calling 911 as a weapon and as a form? Hey, because you know. People can be petty like that. Like, ugh, we know what you got in your background. Get to saying something I don't like. Stay out all night. I know how to pick this phone up and call these people, right? And tell them what they want to hear because your priors already say that you did this. So they going to come. Was it that? I mean, we could go through 150,000 other scenarios. But the bottom line is something took place. Something to where Peach or whoever picked that phone up thought that they should, okay? And my thing is, I'm not understanding how this woman can get out here and make videos saying, when I showed up to the hospital, had my first daughter, I had a black eye. I like to start the fights. And that's why I put all those scenarios in there. Because I don't put it past. Like I said, we, it ain't the DV. Because uh -huh, it is just this case. I don't put it past her using it as a form of a weapon to start some. And then when he goes to finish it, that that's her conclusion. I'm going to dial 911. I don't also... Put it past her to start something and she ain't about it. You know, don't start no, won't be no. Yeah, I see that happening. But the bottom line is just like with her divorce cases, she went and she filed, but she never followed through. Just like previous cases of, you know, domestic things over there. She filed the charges, but she never went through. And that's why whatever is going on is going to continue to go on because there's no point of stopping until one of these law enforcements or CPS or IRS or whoever, the, they, you know, all of the S's. Till somebody puts their foot down and say, look, 
All of these allegations are coming straight from the home. You're out here. You're calling um, name one one. You're going to the school acting like a maniac, and you're out here on the internet acting like you are bipolar as heck. Till somebody puts their foot down and puts their foot in her butt, then it's gonna continue to happen. Cause baby, guess what? Don't get mad at the person that's serving it. I'm just talking about it, right? But. I know we are all watching, and I wanted to get out here and tell y'all, baby, it is something to watch. All right? I will see y'all in the comments because I can't wait to see what y'all got to say about this one.